My name is Meredith, and I'm really excited that you're here today. I bet some of you have been here before, and maybe some of you haven't. The museum is a great place to create, explore, and play. It's also the perfect place to discover all kinds of new information. Do you know the name of people who discover and investigate all kinds of new information? I'll give you a hint. One second. Eh? Did you guess it? It's an engineer! Welcome to Thinkering Lab. Today I'm going to challenge you all to be young engineers as we brainstorm some questions together. The Thinkering Lab is a place to study forces and motion. People can build cars and then test them on this ramp. The fancy word for ramp is inclined plane. There are all sorts of discoveries to be made here. Engineers are always asking questions and trying to figure out problems. Can you work together to answer some of these questions? What happens to these cars if you use small wheels, medium wheels, or large wheels? Will it change the way they move? will the cars go on a flat surface versus an inclined plane? Does it matter what kind of surface you race your cars on? What if the inclined plane was covered in sand? What if it was covered in water? What if it was covered in peanut butter and jelly? Now it's time to put on your engineer hats and try some challenges for yourself. Challenge number one. Your teachers have told me that you're learning all about forces and motion and... Wait a second. That's what our visitors are learning about in this exhibit. We look at how the forces of different cars affect their motion going down this ramp. So, here is your first challenge for you. to a friend about forces and motion. Can you draw a picture for your friend that shows how forces and motion work? We would love to share your drawings here with our visitors so they can learn about forces and motion just like you. Need some ideas for your drawings? How about showing a car, a bicycle, an elephant, Now it's time to create your very own vehicle that will inspire our visitors. We use Legos to create our cars here in this exhibit, but you can use anything you want. Now keep in mind what we've learned about forces in motion. How will your vehicle move on a flat surface? How will it move on a ramp or inclined plane? How will it move on a... A very long inclined plane! So now it's time to put those engineering thinking caps on and get to work. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Good luck and have fun! Yeah. 